Agrar is a family-run farm business with multiple farms across northern and eastern Germany. We're visiting the Parman farm once again for the maize harvest. In this video, you'll see what it takes to manage six harvesting crews simultaneously, while also getting a start on the autumn tillage work. Our story starts to the west of the village of Wegel. The harvest teams report for duty at 7 a.m. That includes two teams from Borgelt agricultural contractors. The two Krona Big X's will also spend most of the day on this 64 hectare field. It's the same field we recorded during May's sowing in spring for our Ruhr Agra Part 2 film. Parmen is situated 130 kilometers north of Berlin, in the state of Brandenburg. At the beginning of October, the maize harvest is running at full pelt, albeit later than in previous years. To ensure they beat the rain and harvest the crop at the optimum stage of maturity, they'll be working at maximum capacity for a few days. Six forage harvesters and a total of 30 carting vehicles are all working in parallel. It's a real masterpiece in organization and logistics by the Parman team. At this farm, Ruhr Agra has specialized in producing energy from renewable raw materials. Several hundred households in the surrounding area are supplied with heat via a network of combined heat and power plants. Plus 12,200 households are supplied with electricity. The Parman farm has two biogas plants, each with a capacity of 2.74 megawatts per hour. In addition to the Parman farm, the silage clamps in Furstenhagen are also filling up during our visit. of the harvesting crews are carting to the site here at Furstenhagen. The four clamps are each filled up to eight meters high. Ruhr Agra ordered two tractors per silo, each of which had to weigh a minimum of 15 tons. Here you can see the machinery Borgelt agricultural contractors have provided to fit the breed. The articulated John Deere is on site all year long, as is one of the two Krona forage harvesters. After all, they have over 1,000 hectares of mixed whole crop silage to chop here in addition to the maize. Some of the maize silage is also bought by neighboring farms via cultivation contracts. The John Deere 7810s used by Borgelt agricultural contractors for carting certainly catch the eye. The 175 horsepower six-cylinder tractors from the 90s with their trademark earthy sound have reached cult status among farm machine workers. All of Borgelt's drivers and most of their vehicles have traveled here from Reda Wiedenbruck, which is over 500 kilometers away to help with the harvest. The team has worked on the whole crop and maize harvest for Rua Agra for several years now. The processes are well rehearsed and many of the drivers return for another exciting adventure in the Uckermark region. The guys from Osters and Vos have also been helping with the harvest for seven years now. This year, the team has been deployed at the more distant locations and has 11 tractors and trailers on the road. For Osters and Vos, the maize harvest is their absolute peak season, which is why they're also relying on subcontractors for support. Agricultural service provider Jakobshagen has a similarly colorful fleet, 
and is also out chopping today on some fields four kilometers west of Parman. The work is progressing well, although we're slightly distracted by this drone shot of the multitude of lakes bordering the fields in this area. Overall, the 2020 maize harvest for the biogas plants in Parman and Furstenhagen encompasses 20,060 hectares across some 50 fields. The largest of the fields is 160 hectares. But there are lots of much smaller, awkwardly shaped fields to harvest too, like this one here. Weather permitting, the teams chop from 7 in the morning until 7 in the evening, six days a week. The silage clamps at Parman are also filling up. Three articulated John Deere Series 9s plus two 8000s are operating in each of the two silage clamps to deal with the loads tipped every minute by the carting crew. A spectacle you'd be hard pressed to find elsewhere in Germany. In 2020, the average maize yield fell just under the five-year average at 36 tonnes per hectare. Nevertheless, the result was certainly boosted this year by the 300-plus hectares of maize that were covered by an enormous centre pivot irrigation system. With top yields of up to 59 tonnes per hectare, which is fantastic for this region, the results from some of the irrigated fields turned out to be twice as high as those from unirrigated fields. From an arable farming perspective, the Uckermark region is challenging due to its low to medium soil fertility, low rainfall and long dry spells. This requires new approaches. On over 200 hectares, they now sow a whole crop seed mix made up of ryegrass, rye and hardy legumes, which they produce themselves. It's proven to give the soil much more vitality and they can avoid applying plant protection products. As we reported in our first short film from Parman, the team here believes in planting a hardy green cover crop as a subsequent crop. As you can see here, as soon as the maize is harvested, they start sowing in 12 meter widths. The seedbed cultivator by Dalbo only causes minimal disturbance to the soil fabric. The knife roller combats European corn borers while also encouraging the decay process and covering up the seed. This old pneumatic spreader, built in 1984, was bought second-hand by the farm manager Benjamin and converted for the job. It's a powerful combination, one that has quite a number of hectares to cover in autumn. In combination with its other main task of slurry spreading, the Zerian has clocked up an impressive 1,200 operating hours this year. Even the autumn sowing tasks are underway. Due to a technical fault, the Challenger MT700 is out of action, but the local Fendt dealership, Schroeder Farm Machinery, has quickly found them a solution and provided a replacement machine. Andre has only recently started working at the Parman farm. To take on the sewing with such a state-of-the-art tracked tractor is clearly a great opportunity. For a few hours, he's working alongside Enrico and his 646 horsepower MT875E on this 42 hectare field near Bergholz. In a second pass of cultivation before rye is sown, Enrico is loosening up the soil to a depth of 25 centimeters. The continuously variable Fendt tracked tractor has really impressed the team this autumn. It runs quietly, 
is easy to operate and consumes one litre less diesel per hectare on average. The 431 horsepower tracked tractor will be replacing the MT700 in 2021. Amy has also come out to cultivate a few hectares of maize stubble with the 936 Vario. She grew up on her parents' dairy farm and is now an agricultural apprentice at the Parman farm. Rua Agra welcomes apprenticeship applications each year at both the Parman farm and their other locations. If you're interested in career opportunities, why not take a look at their website and get in touch. Benjamin is responsible for organising all the fieldwork for the two biogas plants. Harvest time is always a particular challenge due to the sheer number of machines involved. He's organised the maize harvesting teams so that five forage harvesters and their carting crews are only assigned to one of the two biogas plants. One chopper switches between the two. In addition, each crew is assigned a mixture of fields with both light and heavy soils. This enables them to cope better with any spells of bad weather. Now we come to the fourth team of agricultural contractors who have also worked on the harvest for Rua Agra's Parman farm for several years now. The Grosser Rouge Camp team is here with two John Deere forage harvesters. One crew is operating purely with agricultural trucks whereas the other has various tractors in the mix. We saw these man trucks at the Parman farm last spring. They were towing feeder tankers for slurry spreading. Now they're pulling these big semi-trailers from Schmitz. According to the requirements catalogue for agricultural contractors, each forage harvester must generate between 600 and 750 horsepower. This ensures that the harvesting team can work efficiently without compromising the silage compaction quality. Filling up all the machines with fuel also takes some organisation, because this is supplied by the farm. The tractors only need to be filled up every other day, so are a bit more flexible. But the chopper drivers need to be more coordinated because their machines need to be refueled at the farm pump once a day. In total, over 73,000 tonnes of harvested material were shifted over 18 days of chopping for the 2020 harvest. It's a huge undertaking made possible by working at maximum capacity for several days. Two jam-packed days of challenging film work in the Uckermark region are now drawing to a close. Part 6 marks the end of our reportage on the 2020 farming year at Rua Agra. Through spring, summer and autumn, we've introduced you to all their farms and provided insights into many different aspects of the farm business. If you enjoyed this film series, why not take a look at www.farmworld.tv. This is where you'll find our documentaries on modern farming in places such as Russia, Europe, North and South America and Australia. <laughs> <laughs>